analytics is an area that we will see growing even more. We can see it here at EFSEC today. We've seen it over the, the past years uh, that there is an increasing demand for analytics uh, in different applications. It's a way of almost artific using artificial intelligence to draw conclusions requiring less human resources, which may be uh, uh, less effective. Video analytics, I mean, the main vertical I've seen, seen for it uh, has been retail. Uh, because in retail, if it's not 100% right, it's okay. But for uh, like physical security, you typically need very high reliability. However, we have some partner applications which are really reliable, such as our Perimeter Defender. We have also seen that uh, video analytics with thermal cameras creates a really, really reliable result. What kind of video analytics is demanded? I think that there's uh, the demand is for anything uh, that can replicate what humans do. We're putting more and more cameras up everywhere, and we don't have the the, the people power to be able to monitor all those cameras. And we don't even have the people power to do a good job of looking at the forensics of those cameras. So, what we're trying to do with analytics is uh, is to be able to sift through that pile of data a lot quicker than before. We are moving towards the technology of more preventing the events happening. Means uh, there are quite a few new things like face recognitions, like license plate recognitions. We can implement in the system to uh, diagnose the suspicious or suspicious vehicles to, to be more proactive to prevent the things to happen. There are two, I think, application scenarios that you have to understand in terms of video analytics. One is about accuracy, false positive, false negative. That's for the intrusion detection or monitoring application. The other side of it is the trend analysis. We call it business intelligence. So how many people are there? It doesn't have to be accurate, 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 but what it has to deliver is the statistical trend. The most popular video analytic functions that I see today are number plate recognition, uh, probably number one though is retail analytics. People are really interested in people counting, heat mapping, queue management. These are practical analytic functions that people can implement really quickly and have a difference to their business tomorrow. We see face recognition becoming a, a expe expected uh, solution. Um, many years ago face recognition was more a nice, interesting concept. No one really believed that is doable, um, and, and with all the good reasons. Today we see that's being embedded into cameras, we see that being embedded into uh, a lot of the software, camera, uh, software manufacturers, and so we will, we will see face recognition being something that is quite important, partly because that ties very nicely into access control integration, but also because it's impossible to know who actually goes in and out. Uh, like a face recognition, behavior, and ob object recognition, uh, car plate license recognition. So this is still the biggest uh, things that the, yeah, the, the, marketing, the marketing needs. What kind of customers are usually using uh, video analytics? Uh, we see that it's uh, changing a bit. In the past it was mainly the high-end security uh, projects where uh, analytics was used. But nowadays it's also used in different branches. Uh, even in retail it can be used, for example, for uh, people counting at the entrance and stuff like that. So this is also the reason that we bring uh, video analytics to our mid-range portfolio. So it it's, can be used in a broader aspect. Retail is wanted for uh, operational purposes. They, they get more and more uses of our video surveillance. Uh, unfortunately, you get a lot of requests from people who have been watching CSI too much, who put unrealistic demands. But we also see a lot of mature applications for, let's say, parking, where you do LPR. LPR can be used in many areas. It's, it's quite a standard application these days, I would say. The customer base, you might say, for analytics uh, will definitely change moving forward. It has been, in the beginning, we say the companies that could afford it, where we see already today that the analytic customers are uh, basically from all vertical markets. The deep learning and AI are like buzzwords right now in the security industry. Uh, how long time do you think it will take until we have 
good deep learning and AI when it comes to video analytics? We think deep learning is starting at, in right now, but probably it gradually will try to fit into the real application probably in three years or five years. So that means the technology will grow up very fast and keep improving.